right, so we've got the live stream finally sorted. Had a bit of trouble with OBS this evening. All right, so we are cracking at least 50 packs of Kaldheim this evening. So let's uh, add a little extra here. So if you're not aware, play Kaldheim. Should get me a few more packs. So always nice to get a few extras. So I hope the sound's coming through nice and clear for everybody. Welcome, we've got a couple of people in the chat already. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So I have been following the spoilers, but not really uh, memorizing cards or anything. So it will be quite a surprise, I think. So we've got Dread Rider, Elderleaf, Mentor, Smashing Success, Mists of Litjara, Way Down, Giants, Amulet. Interesting. Creating a 4 4 blue giant wizard creature token. That's pretty cool. And an enchantment saga. Alright, welcome Primus4000, you mad bra, 99, Devin Beeman, Rikamaru, Riki, Devin. Alright, so let's see. It's a mythic. I can't really do the card shake thing that well. So we've got Quake Bringer. Creature Giant Berserker, so your opponents can't gain life at the beginning of your upkeep. Quake Bringer deals 2 damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quake Bringer is on the battlefield or if Quake Bringer is in your graveyard and you control a giant. Okay. And it's red, so that has some interesting possibilities. Alright, Grim Draugr, Zombie Berserker. Cool artwork. So we've got the wild card there. We've got these snowlands are a thing now. So not just in uh, Modern Horizons anymore. Retigard Stronghold. What is this? Put a plus one plus one counter on each up to two target creatures you control. They gain vigilance life and turn turn at this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Okay. Litjara Glade Warden. Okay, more counters. Ooh, I like the sounds on that one. So we've got our first god here, Kolvori, God of Kinship. So this is one of these flip cards. It's a 2 4 for 4 on one side. As long as you control three or more legendary creatures, Kolvori gets plus 4, plus 2, and has vigilance. Okay, pay one and a green tap. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a legendary creature card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Or we can use it as a legendary artifact. Choose a creature type. Add green. Spend this mana only to cast creature spell of the chosen type or legendary creature spell. Okay. Seems decent. Yep, you mad bro 99 MTG Arena now on mobile. So if you've got an Android phone, uh, it has to be a pretty beefy one. None of the ones in our place uh, can handle it. So I'll be waiting for the iOS version. So we've got Death Nail Berserker. <laughs> Creates a zombie berserker. That is badass. Okay, Axe Guard Cavalry. Ravenous Linworm, Missilit Jara, Gates of Isfel, Vengeful Reaper. We've got some cool angels in this set. Speaking of which, so we've got Righteous Valkyrie, 2 4 for 3, with flying whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have at least seven life more than your starting life total creatures you control get plus two plus two. Very nice. Oh, looks like we have a new channel member here. Welcome, you mad bra ninety nine. Fancy seeing you around here. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. All right. So we've got a tormentor's helm. Whenever it becomes blocked, does one damage to defending player. Nice. Tuscary Firewalker. Kinseekers. 
Harold, King of Skimfar, Elphoria. Look at the top five cards you library. You may have an Elphoria or Tyvar card. What is a Tyvar card? Is that one of the Planeswalkers or something? Okay, we'll keep an eye out. King Nafi's Betrayal. First turn, each player mills four cards and you may exile a creature or Planeswalker card from each graveyard. Okay. Turns two and three until end turn. You may cast spells from among cards outside with King Nafi's Betrayal. And you may spend mana or one mana of any color to cast those spells. Seems legit. Yeah, seems like you need a pretty uh, recent Android device to be able to play this. Got the Goldmore Champion. Dwarves are back as a tribe. Starnheim Corsa, Warhorn Blast, Ice Tunnel, Woodland Chasm, Furhar, or Furja, Furhar, I think, Judge of Valor, Angel Cleric, Flying Life, one of you cast your second spirit to turn, look at the top three cards, put one of them into your hand, rest into your graveyard, okay. Rune of Speed, okay, giving stuff uh, haste, pumping them up. Fair enough. Battle for Bretagard. So this one you get to create a warrior. Second turn, another one. Okay, so human or elf. And then choose number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens with different names. And then create a token that's a copy of it. Nice. David Smith says, what do you think about a Jund Historic self-mill deck using the new Keldheim tools? I think that sounds fun, um, but we don't. So how do we handle that win con? We used to have Jace, if your library... he He's rotated out, hasn't he? He was in uh, War of the Spark. Okay, so we've got Best Gear, Shieldmate, Craven Hulk, Duskwilder... Doomscar Oracle, Frost Peak Yeti, Svela Ice Shaper, Troll Warrior, yes, we've been trolled, Frost Augur, and a Blessing of Frost. You mad bra 99 needs his Chaos opening box back. Did you know there was a free Chaos slot for next month? Maybe you've already scooped it up. Okay, Blessing of Frost. Distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures you control. Where X is number of... Oh, amount of snow spent to cast a spell. Then draw a card for each creature you control with power four or greater. Okay. So we've got the Recruiter. Shackles of Treachery. Gain control of target creature. I like it. Sorolf's pet mate with a crown. It's cool artwork. Run amok. Immersturm skull can. That's heavy metal. Ruined crown. Okay, rune cards are a thing. And Tyrite sanctum. So land, colorless mana, pay two, tap. Target legendary becomes a god in addition to its other types. What? Put a plus one plus one counter on it, pay four, tap, sack it, put an indestructible counter on target, god. Okay, so you can make it a god and then make it indestructible, that's pretty crazy. Okay, Breakneck Berserker, Shimmer Drift Veil, Litjara Kinseekers, Mistwalker. Demon Bolt, Doom Scar Titan, Giant Berserker, and Foretell is the new mechanic here. During your turn, you may pay two. So this card from your hand face down, cast it on a later turn for its Foretell cost. Okay. Frost Augur, another snow creature, and a mythic wild card. All right. Okay, so we've got another troll here. Braggot. Glade Walker. Vault Robber. Skemfar. Shadow Sage. Elf Cleric. 
Okay, and Rise of the Dreadman. So pumping out the zombie berserkers. Alright, Fearless Pup, Wings of the Cosmos, way down, Arctic Treeline, Notvold Slumber Mound, okay, so you get a uh, Troll Warrior for destroying a land and sacking, okay, Tundra Fumarole, Snow Sorcery, what? Does 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker, add colors mana for each Snow spent to cast it until until you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Okay, so snow, I guess we get snow instance as well. So boy, us, how do you like this new set? Given that this is the first time I'm really paying much attention to it other than glancing through spoilers, I think it looks pretty tasty so far. We've got another zombie berserker carfell kennel master. Loving the flavor here as well. Struggle for Skemfar, Coma's Faithful, Sulphus Maya, Hailstorm Valkyrie. Okay, another snow creature, Angel Wizard. A Seeker's Chariot, and we get a cat. Oh, we get two cats. And whenever it attacks, create a token, it's copy a target token you control. So you can keep spitting out the cats. Ah, but there's the gotcha, it's a vehicle. So you got to crew it to get more cats, okay. Not sure how that works. Okay, Glittering Frost, Droga Thought Thief, Zombie Rogue, Invasion of the Giants. Cool artwork on that one. Provoke the Trolls, yes! Instant for four. Deals 3 damage, 20 tugger. If a creature is dealt damage this way, it gets plus 5, plus 0 until end of turn. What? So, that is curious. Okay, not sure how that works. Reflections of Lit Jara. So, choose a creature type. You can basically get a copy. Okay. Very nice. So we've got the Dwarven Reinforcements, very cool artwork on the Berserker Token, Highland Forest Elven Bow, Morit of the Frost, Legendary Snow Creature, Shapeshifter, so you can copy permanents, interesting, King Nafi's Betrayal, each player mills four, yeah we saw that one earlier. So Behold the Multiverse, Augury Raven, a Null, and a Dark Boar Pathway, so either tap it for black or green, okay. So are there any crazy combos brewing in people's minds at this point? Uh, we had the comment there about the self-mill deck, any other plans people have? Here's a question, do they have goblins in this set? I have a feeling they do not, but I hope I'm mistaken. So we've got Invoke the Divine, Immerstern, Raider, Saw It Coming, <laughs> and a Maskwood Nexus. So you get a shapeshifter, creature to control every creature type, what? Same is true for creature spells, so I can just make everything a goblin? This has possibilities. Same is true for creature spells you control. And creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Ah, okay. Have to give that one a try for sure. Squash. <laughs> Fun artwork. A retiniform rune of flight. Binding the old gods. Give you creatures death touch. Whoa! The Blood Sky Massacre. Create a 2 3 red demon berserker creature token with menace. And whenever a berserker attacks this turn, you draw a card, you lose one life. I add a red for each berserker you control until end of turn. You don't lose this 
Manor has steps and phases in. So there's going to be a ton of Berserker decks coming around. I like that. Nova Creator says, make everything a goblin. It's an angel. Not anymore. It's now a goblin with wings. Yes. Love it. Raise the Draugr. Snowfield Sinkhole. Crush the weak. And a wild card. So David reckons John Deck win cons would be Inner Storm, Predictor, Croxer, and Quick Bringer Giant. Okay. Have to look into that one. Berg Strider, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Zombie Cleric, the best kind of cleric. Glacial Floodplain, Replicating Ring. Don't know what's up with that. If you don't get the hit target right. Bit of a bug there. Nico defies destiny. Holy moly. Graven law. Snow instant. I was wondering about that. So scry X where X is the amount of snow mana. Spent the cast of spell. Then draw three cards. All right. We've got the gold vein pick. Bind the monster. Mammoth growth. Kaya's Onslaught, Rune of Mortality. Okay, here's a rune. So these are Enchantments, Aura, Rune, Enchant Permanent. Draw a card. You can give the creature Death Touch. And if it's an equipment... Okay, give the creature Death Touch as well. Nice. Just had to let that rumble through. So we've seen that one as well. So we've got a couple of uh, people here thinking angel goblins are going to be a good thing. Or a vampire goblin. Sculptor of Winter. Revitalize. Rhymewood Falls. Basalt Ravager. Giant Wizard. Okay. And Rally the Ranks. So choosing creature type. Creature you control the chosen type. Get plus one, plus one, so you'd have to have a Boros deck there to pump up the goblins. Alrighty, Depart the Realm, Boreal Outrider, Varagoth, Blood Sky, oh, Sigh, Death Touch, Boast, one and a black. What do people think of the Boast mechanic? So, target player search the library for a card, shuffles their library, puts that card on top of it. So isn't that when you... Here it is. Activate this ability only if this creature attacked this turn. And only once each turn. Okay. So you're probably going to be doing that on the second main, I would guess. Scorn Effigy. Okay, got a Scarecrow. Alpine Meadow. Sirtland Frostpire. Great Hall of Starnheim. Okay, Angel Warriors. Pretty cool. Oh, you have to sacrifice it to get that. Okay. We got the Ascendant Spirit. So you can uh, give it base power and toughness 2 3. Okay, you got to pay for that. Or if it's a warrior, put a flying counter on it. it becomes a spirit warrior angel with base power and toughness. Or pay that if it's an angel. Oh, I see what's happening here. So you're basically working your way up. You can keep pumping it up until it becomes a... Uh, or it gets... Whenever this creature does combat damage to play a draw a card. Okay. Alright. Avalanche Cooler. Human Wizard. Magda Brazen Outlaw Dwarf Berserker. Yes, other dwarves you control get plus one plus zero. Whenever a dwarf you control becomes tap, create a treasure token, sack five treasure search library for an artifact or dragon card. Put that card onto battlefield, then shuffle your library. Have we seen any dragons yet? I don't think we have. Okay, so we've seen all these before. Won't dwell on them. But we do get another god card here. Burgi or Burgi, god of storytelling. 
Whenever you cast a spell, add red into end of turn. You don't lose this mana of steps and phases. And creature control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than once. Seems legit. Handfell Horn of the Bounty. Discard a card. It's the top two cards of the library. You may play those cards this turn. Okay, so yeah, I like the god part more than the uh, artifact. Alright, bound in gold, so locking up a permanent as Axgard Armory. Nearly said Asgard, I guess that's what they're playing off of there. Inga Runeyes. There we go, it's a mythic gold span dragon. I've heard cool things about this. 4-4 four, four, for 5, flying in haste. Whenever it attacks or becomes a target, the spell create a treasure token. That seems on theme. Treasure, treasures you control have tap sack the side of her. Add two mana of any one color. So, yeah, twice the mana. Nice. So, we've got another bougie. And never fear, we will be starting the cracks and packs this weekend. So, got to pick it all up for my LGS tomorrow. And then next weekend, a bunch more products. The um, collector packs, the theme decks, uh, and the set boosters along with the bundles are coming out. Okay, we got Raven Wings, Clarion Spirit... And Redane, God of the Worthy, in white here, Flying Vigilance, Snowlands, your opponent's control, enter the battlefield, tapped. Non-creature spells, your opponent's cast with command, man cost four or greater cost two more to cast. And the artifact, Val Valkmira, Protector's Shield, if a source and opponent controls will deal damage to you or opponent, you control prevent one of that damage. Whenever you or another permanent you control becomes target spell ability and permanent controls counter that spell ability unless its controller pays one. That seems more like a blue ability there. Okay, we've got the Master Skull, the Dwarf Foria, Brian Barrow Intruder, Ascent of the Worthy. And another Quick Bringer halfway to our playset. One of those packs should have Vorinclex, I hope so. Disdainful Stroke, I think that's a reprint, nice artwork. Raider's Carve, Elder Fang Disciple, and we've got the Blight Step Pathway, Seer Step Pathway. And incidentally, that reminds me, sounds like the Ultimate Edition 2, they're delaying, what did they say, delayed till May, I think. Okay, Undersea Invader, rally the ranks, still hunting for a Vorinclex, we got the Notvold Recluse, Dogged Pursuit, Spectral Steel, Usher of the Fallen, okay, creating warriors, and King Nafi's Betrayal. Right, seize the spoils, so here's your treasure, then use your dragon, create double the mana, nice. Turgrid Shadow, and another Redane. So is anyone keeping track of mythics? I think we've got like three mythics so far. Carfell Harbinger, Roots of Wisdom, Skull Raid. <laughs> Yes, there we go, another one of those. So two dragons, two giants, maybe we had one other. Battlefield Raptor, Frostbite. I like the uh, very literal artwork there. Weathered Runestone, the Jara Mirror Lake. Ooh, Uva, the all form, another mythic. How can I do that thing? Doesn't want to do it. Only does it here? Nope, it stopped doing it now. Okay. Changeling, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents, you control create a token that's a copy of one of those permanents. 
Okay, and then when a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this card, create a token as a copy of target permanent. Some interesting possibilities on that one. Welcome, Katie. So we're what over halfway through now. Cool sound effects. Skemfar, Avenger, Elf Berserker. Whenever another non-token elf or berserker you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. A giant ox. Uh, I'm going to call it Babe. How about that? King Harold's Revenge. Horizon Seeker. Draugr's Helm. What is this? So you create... Oh, you create a zombie and then attach the helm to it okay so you can either equip it to something or pay extra to get the zombie that's pretty cool starnheim unleashed create a four for white angel warrior creature token or yeah creature token with flying and vigilance as spells well foretold create x create what create x of those tokens instead So you could just pump out a ton of angels near the end. Devon's back for one more. Yes, we have not found a Voron Clex yet. Alas, run ashore. Blood Sky Berserker. And the Avenger just had to let that sound effect play out. Infernal Pet. <laughs> you can give it uh, plus one, plus one, give it flying. That sounds like uh, something that would annoy the heck out of people at pre-release. Valor of the Worthy. Cole, the Forge Master. And Alrand, God of the Cosmos. Nice. Legendary Creature God gets plus one, plus one for each card in your hand and each foretold card you own in exile at the beginning of your own step. Choose card type. For the top two cards of the library, put all cards built this way. The chosen type into your hand rests on the bottom of your library in any order. Or on the other side, we've got a bird, hacker, whispering raven. So whenever it deals combat damage to a player, return it to its owner's hand. Scry two. Seems legit. Okay, so another mythic. Yeah, I'm a little little further south of Germany, and that's not Austria either. Story Seeker, Blizzard Brawl, Dual Strike, and a Mythic. I wish that card, maybe I can do something like this. The card shake effect. Okay, so we've seen all those before. Oh, the World Tree, nice one. Enters the battlefield tapped. Tap it for green as long as you control six more lands. Lands you control have tapped add. One mana of any color. And for what? A ridiculous amount of mana. Tap, sack the world tree, switch your library for any number of god cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Somebody's got to try that out. I mean, I think we've got to try that out because multicolor deck, that just sounds insane if you can pull it off. All right. Batter Shield Warrior, Pyre of Heroes, pay two, tap, sack a creature, search library for a creature card that shares a creature type with sacrifice creature and that's command mana cost equal to one plus the creature's command mana cost, put that card onto battlefield and shuffle your library activate this ability only any time you could cast this sorcery. It's one of those where you um, would have to probably figure out your deck, get the mana costs uh, fairly even. Yes, Devin. The name is close to Austria. Some people mix the two countries. He he keeps giving the hints. I don't know if anyone's gotten it yet. And if you know already, just be quiet. Stuart Valkyrie Path to the World Tree and you get a bear. And Kusima God of the Voyage. Legendary creature god. So on the other side it's a vehicle. What are people thinking about vehicles? Welcome, Detective Landon. Hi, Landon. Forgetting Gamer. 
Chris Benucci have a bunch of people in here. Holy moly. Let's uh, get a few more thumbs up there on the video. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may excel Kusuma if you do it gains whenever a land enters the battlefield and your control. If Kusuma is exiled, you may put a voyage counter on it if you don't return it to battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it and draw X cards where it's the number of voyage counters on it. So I like how it can go on this voyage and then you can bring it back eventually and it's uh, stronger. The omen kill, so the vehicle... Whenever a vehicle you control does combat damage to player, player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. You may play lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Okay. Why are you streaming at that time when you are from Europe? I'm not from Europe. I'm streaming from the US. I live in the US. And I have an American accent, can't you tell? Village Rights, that is some very tasty artwork. The Dwarven Hammer, Kaido's Vicious Return. Ooh, Emma Stern Predator. Vampire Dragon, what? That is my kind of card. Uh, flying, so whenever it becomes tapped, it's all up to one target card from a graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on Emma Stern Predator. Sack another creature, it gains indestructible until end of turn, tap it. Alright then. Just sacrifice some little goblins or something. Alright, Maha, Bretagard Protector. Dragon King Berserker, first strike, bow spirit is you activate, cost one less to activate for each. Dragon you control, boast four and a red, create a... 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. Yes, that's a game changer. US based and geographical knowledge. Are you a wizard? Just call me Harry Potter. Jarl of the Forsaken Colossal Plow. What? A vehicle that's a plow. Okay, whenever it attacks, add three white, you gain three life in turn of turn, you don't lose this matter of steps and phase in. That would be fun just to whack somebody with a giant plow. Oh, here we go, and it's not a mythic, but I do have some fun buggy effect there. Alright, getting near the end now. Seven left, demonic gifts. Just Spirit Sentinel, Arnie slays the troll as he should. Wild card. Harry Gobbler. <laughs> I like that. Divine Gambit. And Doomscar. And people watching this on replay are like, what is he talking about? Yeah. So you've got to be here live, people. You'll see the craziness in the chat. Okay, nothing new. Ooh, Turgrid, God of Fright. Menace, whenever an opponent sacrifices a non turk permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. I like this. And then we've got the lantern on the other side. Tap. Target player loses three life unless they second online permanent or discard a card. Pay three black, untap it. All right. Five packs left. Ooh, Alderan, God of the Cosmos. So we're getting lots of doubles today. And I've completely lost track of the mythics, but we haven't yet pulled a Vorinclex. Hadji Mob, Troll Berserker. <laughs> nice artwork on that one. And Arnie Brokenbrow. Didn't they, a uh, couple of uh, MTG players put together a uh, heavy metal song about this guy? I saw it on Twitter. If anyone knows uh, what that's about. So, Haste 333, Boast 1. You may change his base power to 1. Plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until end of turn. Bit of a tag team thing you could get going with that guy. 
very spicy. Poison the cup. That almost looks like some almond cat artwork. Showdown of the Scalds. So first turn it's a top four card your library until end of your next turn you may play those cards. Turns two and three whenever you cast a spell this turn play plus one plus one counter on target creature control. Okay. Last two packs. Oh, we've got one more after this. Runeforge Champion, Creature Dwarf Warrior. So when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for rune card veil. Put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. You may pay one rather than pay the mana cost for rune spells you cast. Okay. So I don't think we've seen too many rune spells. Okay, last pack. I wonder if I can uh, buy one more here with what I have. Blessing of Frost. Okay, so distributing counters. Alright, so let's hop on over to the store. Let's get one more pack. I know it's a tremendous waste of coinage, but we must see what we can pull. This is our lucky pack here. Okay, here we go. Last pack magic. Fingers crossed, everybody. What's it going to be? Are we going to get hosed or will we roar with victory? Okay. Cosmos Elixir. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card if your life total is greater than your same life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. That is utterly unremarkable. So there we have it. That's it. And I do owe people, I know I've been talking about this, I need to get the goblins in action. So this, this bloke needs to go for a run, but I do want to see what I can supplement here. Maybe that thing about shapeshifters, just turn everything into goblins, but we shall see. So... Hoping to get the mono red goblins up and running real soon now. And I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have not already. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not. And the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. You will not want to miss the crazy pack cracking goodness of Kaldheim. So we're going to be opening everything up this weekend and next weekend. It's going to be totally crazy. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.